It's Friday, fellas, and that means Guardian Games competitive playlist is finally live. Now, if you're just now hopping into the event, I want you to pause this video and go watch our event farming guide. This will get you up to speed on how to best earn laurels and medallions to complete your medallion battalion quests, as well as understanding the playlist rotation present throughout the week. Now, completing the medallion battalion quests will allow you to light all the left side torches in the tower. This will grant you several legendary rewards and an exotic upon lighting the platinum torch. Now, for the right side, torches you'll need to complete your shoot to score quest and until today we were unable to progress this quest since it requires you to score points in the competitive playlist now i should also mention these playlists are just the light blade strike and you complete medals in the strike to earn points as well as getting kills and other things now the reason for this is so everyone is on a level playing field on how many possible points you can earn in a single run now you may be wondering cross why do i care about playing in the competitive playlist now there's actually multiple benefits you can earn if you manage to get the high score getting a score of platinum and the nightfall progresses your shoot to score quest allowing you to light all the right side torches and the rewards for this are actually four of the title smgs one for each torch and these aren't just the base versions the gold and platinum title smgs will both be mass worked and have an extra perk option in the last two columns now i know not everyone cares for that event smg but don't worry you'll also get a few enhancement cores and a sentence shard for completing those last two torches as well and i should also mention that if you light both the platinum torches you'll receive the Guardian Games emblem and you can claim this in your triumphs under the Season of the Risen in the Guardian Games tab. Now this isn't to be confused with the community emblem that you can earn by scoring in the top 10% of players in the competitive playlist and boy does it look sexy. Emblems I know may not be for everyone but this one looks good and I want it but the only way you can get it is by scoring in the top 10% of players in the competitive playlist. Now getting a platinum score in the nightfall is actually fairly easy. There's matchmaking so as long as you get matched up with teammates that know how to run a strike chances are you'll probably get platinum as well as a number of medals and other things no problem but getting a top 10 percent score now that takes a bit more work we did some community polling and it seems the score threshold for 10 percent is currently around that 245k mark now that's just at the time of making this video the chances are as the week progresses that number will rise as more and more people better optimize metal earning so let's go ahead and talk about medals for just a moment if you go to your triumphs and look under the season of the risen slash guardian games tab you'll find vanguard medals and this tab contains all the possible achievements you can earn while running the Guardian Games playlist. Now completing these medals while running through the strike will give you points that will contribute to your total score. Now we don't have a full score breakdown of each of these medals but while we were running the strike it looked like we were getting about 500 points per medal. There are also a few gold medals that you can earn that may grant increased points. There was even a couple of funny medals like doing an emote before you finish off a champion or major which would actually net you more points but I will say some of these I wouldn't really focus on too much due to the setup and time required to complete them. Again to optimize this nightfall, you really do want to beat it in 20 minutes or less. Now, let me talk real quick about optimizing metal completions. And we were able to employ just a few strategies that allowed us to hit that score threshold of 315,000. Now, Data's team was actually able to hit 398. And we also heard that there are actually some teams that have managed to score around 450,000. All of these scores currently blow past the 245k threshold score that you need to beat in order to hit the top 10%. Now, the goal is to target specific metal combinations that are easily repeatable as you run through the strike. The easiest one of these is actually Giant Slayer, Finishing Touches, and Insult to Injury. Giant Slayer actually grants you a medal for killing a champion. Finishing Touches grants you a medal for killing a powerful combatant, and Insult to Injury grants you a medal for performing an emote before finishing off a powerful combatant. Now, there's a good number of champions in the strike, so double and triple dipping into all these things and those medals is not a difficult task. So whenever you and your teammates encounter one, get them low, pop an emote, and then perform a finisher. You don't even have to perform the entire emote, by the way. You can actually halt it and you'll still get the credit for that medal. Another combination is actually energy spree, head to head and berserker. Now this requires you to actually run a glaive and we actually did a glaive run, which I will say does require you to play a bit more carefully. But when you're dealing with trash ants, it's super easy to chain these kills. Energy spree actually grants a medal when you get three kills with the energy weapon. Head to head grants medals when you kill 10 targets at close range without dying. And berserker grants you a medal when you defeat three combatants with a melee final blow. Now it's important to note, all three of these medals have higher tier versions if you get more kills using those same methods. An example being Energy Rampage that grants a medal when you defeat six combatants with an energy weapon up from the previous three. Now one more medal that I want to mention is the Let There Be Light medal. All this requires is for you to get three kills with your super. Now there's a lot of things that play into this obviously roaming supers but Bubble was actually fantastic for this as well as Well of Radiance. As long as you're running around with weapons of light and Bubble every kill you're getting is progressing this. On top of that both Well and Bubble 
people have the fastest tier when it comes to passively getting your super back. So you can spam them like crazy. Oh, and by the way, generating orbs and picking up orbs also contributes to your total score. So make sure you're running helmet mods to generate orbs, whether it's harmonic siphon or some other means and have things like absolution or a leg armor mod that allows you to pick up those orbs of power even with full super. And you can see like Les, Bombat and myself, we were able to change supers back to back. All of this contributing to our total score. Now, if you've already participated in the training playlist, you'll have an empowerment buff on your character screen that grants increased ability regeneration on weapon kills. And if you got max at gold, this will stack up to five times. And because this is light blade, you also get an added benefit of tons of orbs of light in the boss room. And if you're already rocking the glaive, you can sit pretty and rack up combos while hordes of thrall charge at you. Long story short, guys, there is never a shortage of abilities here. Now, these are just some of the combinations that we had the best results with. Ultimately, you can try to combo whatever metals work best for you. And there's a ton of options to choose from here. So take some time to look over these metals so you know what to shoot for in the comp playlist. My only suggestion is make sure you kill everything. Try to get as many finishes off on high health ads like majors and champions. Don't worry about finishing red bars. You can just kill them flat out. And before you know it, your score will be high enough to reach that top 10% and obtain that coveted emblem. Now remember, fellas, consistency is key here. Guardian Games is running for three weeks and most likely they'll be adding the score you accumulate each week to reach your final total. So make sure you're getting a run in at least once a week to secure your spot for that emblem. Now, before I let you go, for those that are wondering across, what glaive build are you running alongside your bubble Titan? So my build right here, I'm just rocking Thresh or Enhanced Thresh with Grave Robber on Enigma. This is giving me back my super even faster. Still rocking things like Arbalist for Barrier Champions. Less than Bombad, we're actually rocking Thunderlord. But let me just take you quickly through my subclass. I'm rocking Bastion as well as Offensive Bulwark, although you can just rock Control Demolition here. The main thing to take note of is the Fragment combination. Echo of Reprisal, which is allowing me to get more super energy when I get final blows while surrounded by combatants. This, of course, is easily dipped into considering I'm rocking this Glaive build. Echo of Obscurity, finisher final blows grant invisibility. So when I do go for those finishes, I'll get invisible afterwards. Long story short, guys, this kept me alive pretty well for the most part. This is not a perfected Glaive build, but it wasn't that bad. I was also combining this with things like Heart of Inmost Light. But considering I am popping so many bubbles, you can just slot things like Helm of Saint-14. Someone even brought up maybe even Crest of Alpha Lupi, considering you can generate an additional orb from your super, which of course adds more points to the total score for your teammates when they pick up that orb. And there was actually one point throughout the nightfall, we were able to change supers back to back to back. And again, that's in large part due to the buff that this playlist grants, which greatly contributes to that increase in ability regeneration from your weapon kills. My only suggestion that I would make for heavy, uh, Bombad and Les, again, were rocking Thunderlord. And the reason why they were doing Thunderlord, obviously it's great for just clearing out ads. And of course we have increased arc damage, but it's actually because I was trying to rock Hothead and we were one shot killing champions. And again, you want to try to get them down low enough to finish. So if you're just going in there and instantly stroking them with a single rocket shot, well then you're not able to dip in to those metals when you go in for the finish, especially if you're going to emote before doing the finish. Now I will say my last suggestion for trying to get the most out of your score is if you can pull a team together to do flawless. Again, that contributes to this gold medal right here, which of course adds on even more to your score. If you can run this strike and do it flawlessly, that would be great. Although I know it is tough considering you got things like Screeves and other shenanigans that can still kill you. We even had a few moments where it snuck up on us. Now, if you're interested in finding a team, we do have a Discord that is open. They've been doing all kinds of shenanigans this past week, like the Cheese Farm, which by the way is still going on if you're looking to just purely get God rolls for the title SMG. But there's also been teams of people pulling together, running this strike, trying to get that top 10% score. So feel free to come by. We'll have many Guardians grinding all weekend long. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.